rotating, if you can hold on to your parts, that is. And I think I'm going to set that in last. This has some pins on it that sits down in there. The cockpit does. There we go. Now that's sitting in there the way it's supposed to. I'm going to hit it with some extra thin real quick. Mm, better make sure it's in there right first because if it's not in there right and it wasn't, that is going to cause me trouble. Now it's in there correctly. You know, and the parts I was worried about, you can't see them once you put the ship, the part, uh, model together. So it's all good. Okay. Now first, it says to put the window in, and you know, I don't think that was going to work. So that's in there. It says this part goes in third. And that goes towards the top. I've already put the cockpit in. And again, there's a key mark on it to key it in. And then we put the two halves of the hole together. And yeah, I expected some of that to happen. Okay, this popped back out. So we got to put her back in place. I have to separate the whole pieces a little bit there. Okay. She is snapped together. Now, I found one one thing I don't like about the back half of the ship. The front half of the ship looks fairly decent. I'm going to hit her with some extra thin cement in a few places. And then clamp on her so that the seams vanish. And these seams will vanish if I hit it right. Okay? Because they are tight up. They're, the pieces are molded together tight enough to allow that to happen. But you're going to have to do some alignment while you do it. Okay, that's done on the front. In the back, I'm going to zoom in on this so you guys can see that back. Yeah, right where the engines are, you've got a seam line. So, extra thin to the rescue there, too. Get some extra thin in there. and hold her together for a little bit. Might get some orange fluorescent paint and fix those engines because I think it's kind of cruddy that they split that right down the center of the engine. One of the problems I have with a couple other models is they just put their seam lines on halves and they don't really think about what they're doing when they do it. So it makes a really nasty job for the model builder themselves when they're trying to fix this. And this will be step six done. Okay, that does not want to glue together. All right, let's see what step seven is probably putting the solar panels together. Yep, it's putting the two solar panels together. I'm going to go ahead and build the stand first. Okay. I know I've been off camera for a little bit. I am going to get the big clamp Olas out. Because this thing not cooperating. Nope, those are not going to work. You need some of these. That's all I gotta say. Because they're pretty convenient for this sort of thing. Very convenient for this sort of thing. There we go. Let 
let that sit while I put the stand together. The stand comes in four pieces. It's part 27, 28, 29, and 30. And again, it's got a high gloss finish on it. And of course, we have a sprue attachment point in the middle of that high gloss finish. Two of them. Which is going to be hard to hide for your uh, newbie modeler. It's really, really hard to hide that. One last part to cut off. There we go. Hopefully that's the rear of the stand where that attachment point was. Oh, don't. Now, filing it wasn't too bad. Most of it's going to be okay because it's going to be underneath where this kid is sitting. But that attachment point right there, you can see it pretty clearly too. Touch it up with some gloss paint would be okay. The stand goes together pretty quickly, as expected. It, again, it's a snap kit. I expected it to just fly together and it does. And I wanted the stand before I started putting the wings on her. This thing requires some force to put together. There's the stand done. And uh, step nine is putting the kit on the stand, so all I have left now is step seven. And step seven is putting the solar panels themselves together, so let me cut them off the sprue. There are six parts left, and this whole model kit is done, and I did it in like 15, 20 minutes. Lots of attachment points for this thing. Oh, it's a big piece of plastic. It really is. And I'm almost willing to bet I got some cleanup to do on these parts. those two free. Let's get the last of these free. I'm getting excited because in a few minutes I'll be able to run around the house going pew pew chasing Thunderpaws and Tomodachi and Creepy Cat which never comes on camera because she's old and she doesn't move much. Three parts left on the sprues. Two parts left on the sprues and all the parts will be removed. All the parts are removed from the sprues. It's just a matter of cleaning up the parts now. And they, there is, it is molded in color and there is paint on top of the parts, like I said, throughout. That part's cleaned up. Parts cleaned up.
part's almost cleaned up. Gonna have three parts left to clean up. I didn't do too bad of a job nipping these. They're cleaning up really quick. Big pieces of plastic too. Real big pieces of plastic. You know, I think it's about time I got a model that wasn't like the challenge from forever to build. You know, like that Brockuri Cruiser. That one's a challenge. Big time challenge. Seamzilla part three. Yeah, that's what that is. It's parts one, two, and three all, all mixed up in one. Get that off that solar panel. Just notice these wings are not symmetric. In other words, there's definitely a difference in sides. One side is a different dimension than another. One more part to clean up, and then start putting together. Take a solar panel, lay it down, find its corresponding part here. That looks like it Wait, lines up. Yep, it just snaps right on there. Actually, snaps on there very well. Okay, no, not 100% well. I'm finding issues. Not surprised. Actually, yeah, it's not so bad. Look, if you look at the edge, you can see that the pieces are holding together fairly well. But, you know, a little extra thing goes a long ways, in my opinion. Just a little extra thin around the edge, that way it don't come apart on me anytime soon. I can see my sprue attachment points. I didn't clean them up real, real well. I wasn't worried about that, to be honest with you guys. It's supposed to be a quick little model to build. And that it is. I just wish they wouldn't use such heavy, heavy sprue attachment points on this thing. I know I can fix them. I'm not in a mood to fix them, if that makes any sense. This is supposed to be a model I just sat down and built in about an hour. For the most part, it has been. A lot less than an hour. You guys are watching the whole thing. And I'm not fast forwarding it. You get to hear me rant and waffle and talk about crazy stuff. Nah, no crazy stuff today. If you want crazy stuff, join me on Facebook. I do all sorts of crazy stuff there. Not the kind of crazy stuff you guys are thinking about, unfortunately. <sighs> Sometimes. Alright, that's together. Extra thin the edges. One thing about that extra thin is it'll take out some of that uh, harsh edges that I've got on there. Where I hit it with the file, and the file just didn't hit it right. It'll kind of smooth that a bit. Okay. And I am almost done with this thing. We got to put four more parts together, and I'm done. There we go. Got the two solar panels done. 
glue setting on them. Let me undo my glue on the main body. It helped, but not a whole heck of a lot. Lid still opens and closes. Doesn't sit down 100% right. Snap kit. All right, now the wings. We have these plugs to hold the wings in. Okay, they are notched to go in only a certain way, like this. That will only go in a certain way on the sides. Okay, but I'm almost willing to bet these guys are not notched here for any certain way other than up. No, they aren't. They're, they're, they just slip right in there. Now, I am going to glue these. I'm not a big fan of snap kits because sometimes they come apart. I'm not using an extra thin for that. Extra thin's great. It gets in there, but it's not a really long-term holder. So I'm getting out the Tamiya cement, and I'm hitting this with this, the plain old Tamiya cement down in here. This will really get in there and bond it and hold it well. Now I'm putting these parts in there. I'm going to take this pin, and again, I'm hitting it with the Tamiya, not the extra thin, and I'm being pretty generous with it. And that part slides down in there. Oh, and it's not. What have I done wrong? And with that cement in there, not good, actually. Yeah, real not good, because it don't want to come back up. I feel like taking a hammer to it. Nope. It's in there. And not coming up. There it goes. I don't know what's up with that. Why was that not sliding down in there the way it's supposed to? Because it won't go down in there the rest of the way. Mm -mm. That's as far as it goes. And I know that part doesn't do that. And I'm wondering if it's because I've got her upside down or something. And I'm using my favorite file to pull this up with, too. To pry this up with. That's not good, because you know you're going to break that file. The part won't break, the file will. There it went. Got it. I had it misaligned. That's why it was doing that. Let's get this other part. Get the Tamiya cement on there. Let's put her on there. Ha ha! Now I see what the problem is. They are keyed. There's a key mark there and a key mark here. Make sure you get your key marks to line up when you put the ship together. That is important stuff there. That's why I was having problems on the other one. I had the key marks wrong. Go figure. pin in there. Yeah, see, look. That one just slid right in. So I had the key marks wrong. My ship is done. It's ready to go pew pew around the house. Pew 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 pew. Not too bad for a quick little build. I know I got a lot of war gamers who watch my channel. If you want if you're into Star Wars, want to build a model, you can get pretty decent results from this for pretty easily. Again, that one spot right there don't want to stay together. I'm going to clamp it again with the extra thin in there a little bit more aggressively in a minute. But here you go. Let's do a small zoom in so you can see some details around the ship. She goes together pretty well. She's really nice, decent size. 20 bucks. If you like Star Wars, there aren't many TIE Fighter models out there. There's the fine molds. And it's not the scale, and it's a lot more expensive. There's the old AMT kit. Came in a dual pack of these. It's smaller. It comes up to about there. Um, they're hard to find on eBay these days, and it's going to cost you more than this will. And there's a couple other snap kits out there. So there you go. I don't know what scale this is. It doesn't say on the box, but I'm done with the build. Hope you enjoyed.